only teach you this that can make you to be ready to go. I was looking at this uh, scripture in Luke uh, chapter 3 I'll just read five scriptures, but let's start with Romans 13. Verse 8. Romans 13, verse 8. I understand why you have boyfriend. I understand. I understand. I, I can't fight you. I understand why. Why? Where you have a boyfriend, I understand. Oh, no, a boyfriend. It's because you don't know you will go. And you're not ready. Verse 8. Verse 8. Romans what? 13 verse what? 13 verse 8. Oh, no man, anything <coughs> save to love one another. For he that loveth his neighbor hath fulfilled the law. Amen. Can you see the verse? Verse 9. Verse 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, for thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not convert, convert. And if there be any other commandment, it sum up in this word, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. thyself. Amen. Look at verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of what? Of the law. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Christian who's ready to go. Who is a, I mean, ready to enter heaven? Will love. Today, I want us to look at this topic of love. But we look at in this way our but test of love. Our test of love. Here the Bible shows that we are bound to love. And the Bible says that the one who wrote the law of love is the one who said, do not covet. Do not murder. Do not covet. And if you love your neighbor, you won't be able to do that. You know, this scripture shows that God wants us not to sin against him. And the way out and it's like of failing to sin is love. If you look at this verse, it says, Love worketh no ill. The word ill means evil. To his neighbor. In other words, you are being tested by the person you see. Why the Bible says neighbor? Why Bible before your eye and to the person you see. Your love is being checked. So whoever you see is your neighbor. Even when you are looking at your enemy, is your neighbor. Can you see when you look at the person? You are looking at your neighbor. Let me just read that verse again. Especially this one, verse 8. Oh, no man, anything. Oh, no man, anything. In other words, you have duties. 
Come and join let me show more. That you need, you need to fulfill to everyone. Yo toka ngwe ipeta cha mutu nka ufela. Your duties. Mola tus kaba washala mutu morao ka wona. Have you ever found that you still have people you hate? Wow, kile wa bona sana le batho bangwe ba toileng. Like your pastor you love, pastor you hate. Na le batho bangwe ba rata bangwe ba toileng. Churches you love, churches. Na dikare ke tshedingo wa di rata tshedingo wa di toileng. This shows that love here. Is not there. So the Bible here she says, so Bible we must not owe anything. In other words, these are two scriptures in one. Number one, we are not supposed to have a debt. Number two, our debt is love. Number one, we are not supposed to have a debt. Number two, our debt is love. Our debt is love. Is love. Look at this other verse. I will show you. At level level same way, I get only one chance. If we read James two, Jacob two, from verse eight to thirteen, eight to thirteen. I'm just giving you this verse, but explaining to you. I want us to stick in verses. In your quarter level, let me say it. James two, Jacob two, from verse eight to thirteen. Yes. Utwago eight to fifteen to thirteen. Let me go there. I will read for you to 13. 8 to 13. I will bet if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You do well. Amen. When I read James 2, 8 to 13. Verse 9, it says, Verse 9. But if you have respect of persons, you commit sin. Amen. Be convicted by the law as transgressors. In other words, people to you must be all equal, all the same. If now you raise another one lower to another one higher, you have done wrong before. Before God. Because you're supposed to love everyone the same. Verse 10, it says, whoever shall keep the law, the whole law, and yet stumble in one, my God. Here Here it, shows that, it shows that when you do one thing, you do all, you fail on one. You fail in all. Fail in all. And for you to be able to achieve the, the level is, that is needed of love. When you are able to reach that level, it means you won't stumble even in a single one. Even in a single sin. Because here you can see the verse says, uh, let me just read that verse. Verse, verse 9. But if ten. you have respect of persons, you commit sin. Amen. Verse 9. Being Verse convicted nine. by the law as transgressors. In other words, you are convicted here. Re Verse 10 says, Whosoever shall keep the whole law and ye yet stumble in one point point is guilty of all. So how are you going to follow these laws? Follow that word. Automatically, all these laws, you can be able to fulfill them. If you love. But if you are still looking at this one, you hate this one. You love this one. You'll be surprised. You've got hatred. You commit murder. You fight. You do all. So therefore, love here is a very important thing to crush us from law. You who love is is living by faith. He who loves is not living by law. It's living by faith. And there is no law that and can govern it. Tell about it. He who loves is living by faith. And there is no law that can govern him. Look here. Verse, uh, let me say 13. It says, for the judgment is without mercy to him that has shown no mercy. 
Amen. Mercy glorifies against judgment. In other words, he who loves will never judge anyone. Can you say that uh, when you judge someone, you open a space to be judged also? Many people you judge, you don't love them. The reason why you, you talk against some people is because you don't love them. But there they are, they are some people who are worse than the ones you are talking about. Because you love them, you don't talk about them. So you can see that, that you are also judged. So your, your level of your judgment is also questioned. It's as good as because you love this man. Though he's stealing, you won't talk against his stealing. But this one, because you hate him, even when he's stealing small things, you know, you speak against him. Listen to this. Whatever you stand against, is a judgment that comes back to you. Whatever you protect becomes part of you. So who is the worst sinner? If you protect the worst sinner to the minor one, even you, you are the worst sinner. So your judgment is judging you. So where is love there? Let me show you another scripture. If we read this verse, Luke 6, Luke 6, verse 32. I'm giving you scripture, scriptures. Here you'll be surprised what the Bible says concerning love. You will see that, that many of us, we are not Christian. We are not Christian. Luke what? 6, 6, verse what? 32. 32. I'm going there. I just want to read these verses for you. Ask somebody, is there anybody you love? Eh? You love everyone. Are you sure? Read verse 32. Read verse 32. And, okay, let me just read myself. And if you love them that love you, what thank ye? For even sinners. Love those that love them. Barata, Baba Barata. Thirty three, and if you do good to them that do good to you, how lishetcha ba lishetcha? What thank ye? Lisale buwang. For even sinners do the same. Oba niki sona sile ba dira dibi ba si dira. Thirty four, and if you lend to them, eh alidima. Ba le holo fela o rua kabona. To receive. What thing have ye? Le salebo wang. Even sinner lend sinners. Can you ever do a debi ba adimana? Sinners lend sinners. Can you see that? Whatever chase is le caning. You can check from today the people you are living with. Le bela ba tu opilang le bona utwa le kono. If truly your focus is on the people you love. I can niti chow di le bela chingi le ba tu ba ubaratang. Automatically here you. You are not fitting as a Christian. When you are tested on the love you feel. And if you give people expecting that they will give back to you, something is, something is wrong with you. In other words, any activity we are doing, we Come are being tested. Come on, chama ngomi shuma kufla yeri diangri lera lekulwa lebelelo. Any activity that we are doing, we are doing it against ourselves or for ourselves. Ask about, are you sure you love somebody? Because this verse here is very dangerous. Look at verse 35. This 35 is very dangerous. Can you see verse 35? 35. Can you read it in your Bible? You say what? Salinaibe o rata mana valina le go shetsa le go adima mo le sa tlhlu go felang go boyelwa and then carry on reading isewa 
ke mo mopotso wa lena e tlo ba go montshi la tlo ba bana ba yo go dimodimo go ba ni yena le ba ba le ba sa le boeng this verse is showing that let me read the 35 but love your enemies ah are you sure are you sure you love your enemies okay lena le ne tia le rata mana ba lena and do them good leva dire ka bobotse and never despairing and in this kind of baba never despairing and your reward shall be great and ye shall be ke wana ge ye shall be sons ke ena ge le tla babarwa thank god today we know how to be sons of god ya long le khono re ya tsebo re ba jwang barwa ba modim we are tested in our enemies re le kulwa mana ba rena le gaofe can you see when we have enemies le ya bona ha rena le mana ba are there to prove where we belong mana ba ona o bontsha lo le moisha gore re tswa kae re ya kae so the baby say love them i will rare ba rating and you know satan will send many to you le ya tse ba satan o tarumela ba bantshi mo go lena so that you must not have character of your father gore le ska ba le megwa ya tata lena but the baby says here gore ba bile re mola tata lena ha fa pola he gives even to the weak o fa pola le ba le ba ba bi a fa le ba ba botse le ba lokileng so now when you get even people fighting you so now how to la batho ba ba bi ba lwana le wena you are tested don't pray die 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 o ya le ko lo o skarapela tapelo ya re ihwa 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 bless them pray for them ba sho fa jo ba rapelele no say don't don't do uh, back to sender o skadira tapelo re a di boela na ko di tswao You know I was watching uh, uh, African magic this this Yoruba guys was Ona liko shengwe ya ratibu ya opelwa ke bana mo ya re back to sender the song the song is so nice ko shayela e botse but the scripture doesn't want us to Mara le ngwalo le a le nyaka re di ajwalo do you know that your enemy when he fight you when you pray for him le na bana le bana le lena na le na le rapelela le di ela motimo just love him amen rata motho the more you have your enemies how na le mana ba when your enemies are in number ha mana ba ha wa le manchi oh mo it shows more blessings o bontsha gore wena ina o na le gawelo go khona go ile if you don't have enemies you are going nowhere how na le ma o sena mana ba ora ona mo ya ha o sena mana ba you don't have a destiny ha o mo ya ngona ona ntotse di ka hone sometimes you must find out what is it that people are speaking about you which thing wa konya ke shisho re batho ba bolela ba reng ka wena if you because always your enemy speak opposite of where god is taking ka re le na ba le bolela khatana ngo le mo modi ba o isa ngona do you have enemies na le mana ba do you love them le ya ba rata ba bese we must love our enemies ba bese are rateng mana ba re na and we must do good to them and are ba dira ka bo botso ba ka oloka so people around you they are about to retaliate ba ga o fela wa re ba ra o ba ba le yeke even yourself never allow your heart to succumb anything lele na le sakas to mela pelo tsa na di swara di lotse di go tsana go tsana go ngwe ona mo di mata le hlompe a se ba le se se what is it that you are thinking about your enemy king is so sina ga nang ka le na bana ga he o shile le ngwana he o shile le ngwana the person left me with a baby. what is it that the person must leave you with The person left me with a baby. What? Why is it that he must leave you with? Leave you with? So now the person is carrying on with his life. So motola kela pelika u pelo ba hai. You cannot move forward. Where now? So when I pelika or ba ushile lingwana. I left with a child. Where did you get the baby? Where did you buy the baby? So how can you carry on blaming the person? Who did wrong to you? You are with the link post. What if his God is shifting that person? Must come away in the name of the Most High. For the sake of your blessing. Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just stop this issue of being offensive? Can you just st
my test of love. Do you know that the story of Naomi in Ruth one, It's a story of our Christian life. The story of Naomi, you must go and read it. It's a story of our Christian life. When this mom said, Naomi, Naomi, when she said to Ruth, Ruth, Papa, even if I take you, I mean, I don't have any promise I can give. Because most of us, we are following God, following people, and come close because of the promises of what they can offer. When you are following having friendships because of what that friendship can offer is a wrong one. No, 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 we say, I mean, uh, Ruth say, I will follow you. No, I will follow you. Where you sleep, I will sleep. Where you stay, I will stay. I don't care what you don't have. Our Christianity is based on what we can get. That's why we are deceived. That's why we are deceived. That's why we are deceived today. That's why, That's why our love will go down. That's why we are told you are fancy. If you want to see, read Matthew 24. Can you just read Matthew 24? Maybe we we'll go to verse 13. You will see what will happen there. What is happening there? Maybe, maybe let's start from 3 to 13 maybe. Matthew 24. You will learn a lot there. Is your Bible having Matthew 24? Yes. Let me read verse 3. As he sat, Naomi gave birth to a son. Verse 4. Verse 4. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming? and of the end of the world. Look at verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man lead you astray. I, this answer is a very dynamic answer. Jesus said, The sign of my coming Satan will be working too much. So be careful that you won't be deceived. Someone can lead you astray. Ah, the first expression that Jesus uttered here, he said, take heed that no man lead you astray. But here, when he say no man, he comes specifically to verse 5 and say, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. Oh my God, yeah. And shall lead many astray. In other words, we need to have a discerning spirit. A discerning. Because many will come and say, Jesus is Christ. But he never sent them. So this can also deceive someone. And lead someone away. Later you will find something that will affect your love. Think about a coming and say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Tomorrow you found that. I've got a child somewhere. Automatically your love will go down. I don't know if you're hearing that. Many will come in my way. In my name. And say I'm Christ. And from there they preach, preach, you are following, following. When you are in the center. <laughs> you know, you know how Satan deal with people. You know, he... Uh, he allow you to be deceived. You when you're in the center, say, I'm going to heaven. Then you will find that this person who come in the name of Christ is in trouble. This person who come in the name of Christ is in trouble. This person who come in the name of Christ is in trouble. 
You can be my third wife. O ka no ba msadi wa ka wa boraro. The love will just boom. Le rato le la le tano fela ka pila. You mean you have got the second? Boraro na le wa mme. Na ke taba wa boraro. What does the Bible say? Bible yo na ring. So God will give you a so destiny spirit. I pray in Jesus name. So that when a person is preaching. So that when a person is preaching. Ore motware ra. Coming in the name of Christ. A tla ka le na la Christ. You'll be able to identify this. What I cannot see, but I can. That's what the Bible says. Can travel along the Bible more. Let's carry on reading. Are you telling people about? Is what is happening now? This can trade dia lang machachia. If you want to see verse four, it's happening now. Ah, le kabala le topo noroki into trade dia lang. Even verse five is happening. Verse five, can dia lang anajwa. Look at verse six. It's also happening. Are you telling six yet to rahal? You shall hear of wars. Mushale kwa kudinwa. And the rumors of war. Let me hush your din, Twa. See that you be not troubled. Le vana gore le sekala chua. For these things must needs come to pass. Che jo lo di swane chukwa o na fela. The end is not yet. Asi jo na bo felo. For nations are rise against nation. Oba si chaba si ta chola si chaba si siwe. And kingdom against kingdom. Musho utlo chokela na le musho. It's best when it's happening. I mean, uh, I was hearing what is happening in Switzerland. Nagi kwadi ntoje di alan Switzerland. People are trying to criticize the king. But to balika wole la kata no which he why he did not say. So people want to rise up. And the Bible says there shall be famines. Ome utlo balidi chala. And earthquakes in diverse places. It's happening. It's happening. We thank God this thing is happening in our time. We are seeing that. Lewa mujemo karidi dia la nakonye yarnaria dibo. Jesus in verse eight. Mola o verse eighty. He says, "This is the beginning of the travel." Che kamoka itloba o na matomo aditalelo. In other words, this is the beginning of showing the end. Ino ba matoma o rebo fellow biata. When you begin to hear. The earthquake, the what? How the fighting, the rumors, of wars. This is the beginning of the suffering. This is the beginning of the suffering. The persecution that is coming. That will arrive. Let's carry on. Verse eight. 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 And to the tribulation. In other words, they will start to say, "We don't need Christians." Like what is happening in South Africa? Now? South Africa. The church must be governed. You know, I went to UK. I was praying for someone. The person was rolling. We are not to go to UK. The person was like, "Ah, the brother said, "Hey." They will arrest you. I said, did I touch the person? He says, no. I says, they must arrest the one who touched the person. Because they have to be some laws that will bring you. Some people are saying, we don't need to have the laws. They have to be some laws that will bring you. Some people are saying, we don't need to have the laws. They have to be some laws that will bring you. Some people are saying, we don't need to have the laws. They have to be some laws that will bring you. Some people are saying, we don't need to have the laws. There will be tribulation. You shall be hated. But he turned to them and said, You will hate each other. Can you see that verse there? He says, And ye shall, verse 9, last under verse 9, Ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. If you are Christian, the nation. They will hate you. Automatically, the love will grow cold. To my surprise, and say verse eleven. He says, "Okay, verse ten. Ten. And then you shall be hated. Shall many stumble? And shall deliver up one another. Betrayal." And shall hate one another. But we cannot. But we shall not. Christians, these are Christians. When the nation did that, many shall stumble. 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 Many shall stumble.
betrayal fight one another and look at this verse level uh, 9 verse 11 11 when this thing is happening verse 11 many she. false prophets shall rise utloba le ba prophet ba ba ntshi and shall lead many astray ba maka ba utlofura ba ba ntshi 12 and because of iniquity shall be multiplied the love of many shall wax but he who endure until then, shall be saved can you hear that when christians are still fighting, fighting the people that will rise will be false prophets ba prophets abamaka in fact when you preach the truth the church will have triple the wrong people will rise up but was in one about pahama in the last day the bible never promised us the church will be very big for the bible ya vole la hore ke ke to be ikgolo it says it's only the first ones yere taba ba ba sing ba nnete and it also talk about the issue of verse 12 e vole la hapela ta ba yengwe mo la hore ke ke kala ba kala re bo be le le ratola ba ntshi le tlo ya fase but look at verse 13 verse 13 he says but he that endureth to the ya ta o tshe tsa o fitla mafelong christianity you will be living it by endurance o la tla ora o re pholoso re ta ipila ka o tshe tsa di lo tshe di ta di ya lang o tla bo swanela o di hotelela things will be happening di lo tla ba di dirahala because satan want to win everyone over satan no nyako win love will grow cold le rato le to fela you'll be surprised to find you are coming to church what amakala we itakereke and satan is doing something on the satan a dira tshe di nwa na mo thakong le leng you endure wa hotelela when you are busy enduring wa hoteletse you'll be saved o tlo pholoswa so now Endure is to maintain that love. To cover it. Because whatever that is hitting you is to throw. Is to make it to throw away that love. Whatever that is happening now. It is the beginning. You know It is the beginning. I met one uh, brother from Eritrea ke kopane le botjo mo wa tha Eritrea one on one i told him that i see him please na ke re ke u bona le kholegong he say yes are i said but it, you were you were arrested when you were preaching mara ne o tshwere ya o dia ngeng are e so in Eritrea when you preach they arrest you a o re ra ina ba o tshwara and others are dead there ba bangwe ba setse ba shwile kill you if they want to kill you they do ba o bolaya e fanya go bolaya ba no o bolaya So this thing can happen to us. Because we think we can have many people if we are something. And we are crying for something we are not crying for Christ. I don't know if you are hearing me. And now if we won't get those things. We will leave Christianity. If you hear that there is someone who can offer you a car and how ka corona le motho ka ofa ngoloi and he must cook you first because you want a car you must cook it o tsontsho ro luke pele wa wa ka ro nya ka kolo ta dia jwala if someone you want a car yes nya ka kolo ina you have to enter the port o tsontsho o tsena ka ra picha re wa pie pile and then from there when you have o to wa mo toto a o se tsona le disopo tsa u tswa wena u tsoma u tswa sopo ya how when your soup is starting to come out I will give you to drink and you'll get a car what i did is what is happening today kintu e dia lang le khona people they don't mind the sauce ona le batla bana ta bo re di tswa kae the love is growing cold ta ba e ke re le rato le ya fase it happens to jesus it ra e tshomo rena jesu the bible says by the time when jesus bible le ka na ko e jesu knowing that god has given everything in his hands na atse bo re modimo ba mo file dilo tshe ka o fela matsogo His love was so big. Le rato la ga e lebelelo le golo. He took off the clothes and tied them here. A to shadi ya parwa di bofa mo le thekeng. Because he loved them all. Bible re na ba rata ka moka. Wash their feet. A ba thatswa mauto. A ba thatswa mauto. He reached to Peter. A fitha u Petro. A Peter say me, I went. Petro ha o wa wena. 
Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you're not part of me. Okay, okay, wash the whole body. Okay, wash the whole body. No, no, no. I must wash your feet. <laughs> because when I wash your feet, <laughs> I'm cleaning. I'll be the one to direct your feet. Look about when now Jesus reached the feet of Judas. If it was me, I could not wash Judas. <laughs> You know, Jesus loved all of them. He even loved Judas. He Judas. He took the bus and said, Judas, give me your leg. When you look at the leg, he sees his leg going to the Pharisees. But he still washed that feet. He still washed the feet. When he finished washing the feet of Jesus, he washes, he passes, he says, ah, I did wash his feet, but still it's not clean. He explained and said, you know, all of you are clean, but one is not clean. Jesus could still wash the feet of his enemies. What about us? If it was you, you would do like this. You'll kiss in the air <laughs> and try to show that you are angry. Have you ever found that when someone you don't want is passing? You change your beautiful face to the other. Many of you, you cannot pass the test of love. Whatever that is happening to you, it's a test of love. And God will reward that test of love. I don't know if you hear me. Are you passing the test? Are you passing the test? Are you passing the test? Listen, when God wants to bless you, He will allow Satan to bring people that will challenge you. Your response matters. Let them do everything outside, not in your heart. Carry on doing what you are doing. Pass the test. Move forward. You will never make the whole world happy. People around you are of your test. Don't fail that test. Pass that test. And the Lord will promote you. I pray that you get promotion today. In the name of Jesus. Let me just give you maybe two scriptures we close. Maybe if we read 1 John 4. We read maybe from verse 15, yes. Chapter 4, verse 15. Yes, can you just read 1 John 4, 15? John Wapili, chapter 4, revealing verse 15. 15. Verse 15. Mm-hmm. Ere. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. 16. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in life, in love, abides in God, and God in him. Carry on. 17. Love has been perfected among us. In that, in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in the world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. I just want you to write this in your notes, number one. Our oneness with God is when we believe in him and love us. Our oneness with God is when we believe in him, not only that, and we love others. 
So therefore, you cannot say you are one with God. You are believing in Him. You have to be coupled with loving others. Let's write it. The Bible says, as He is, we are in the earth. In other words, the love that we practice, we are representing Him. That's number two. Number three, love past fear. I will tell you what is fear. Fear is the voices of Satan. In other words, love stop the voices of Satan. What makes us not to hear from God? The devil is talking to Satan. And he loved to change statements. So we can hear God. So love cast out fear. Number four. Number four. Love cast out fear. Which means it stops the voices of Satan. And the voices of Satan, the last thing. And the voices of Satan, the last thing. Are there to torment us. Are there to torment us. The voices of Satan is fear. The voices of Satan is fear. Remember that the word of God is faith. faith. The word of Satan brings fear. Satan speaks. He wants you to be affected on your focus. Our focus in God is affected because of the voices of Satan. Automatically, when the voices of Satan are loud, the fear is ruling. The love of God will go. Down. What we need today is to, to know that God loved us. And is to know that if God loved us, we must love others. Whoever loved God. And face perfection. And and persecution. Let me say it again. Whoever love God. And love people. Will face persecution. Because the same say, people you love. Satan can still use them against you. The same people. You took care of them. You love them. You do whatever. I'm not surprised for divorce. I'm not surprised why they are divorced. One person was loving another. Another one was not minding. I don't know if you hear me. There are some people where you give them love. You are telling them persecute me. But don't stop love. Look at this 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. I read this verse. 3 verse 12 to 13. Read that verse. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. I want us to look at that verse and understand that Christianity is a very narrow road. Read that verse again. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Will suffer persecution. But evil men and imposters Evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse. Will grow worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. For the sake of the love you have. Remember the Bible says the love of God in our heart has been shared by the Holy Spirit. The love of God in our heart shows that there is a Holy Spirit. Look here. Can you see me here? This is the love of God. I'm the Holy Spirit. Can you see that? Come. Come here. Come here. 
This is a Christian. This is the love of God. This is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came here and come here and do like this. The love of God inside this man shows that there is someone like me who is called the Holy Spirit. You cannot bring this without this one here. So now, look here. The challenge you are facing is not this. The devil doesn't want this one to be there. Because if you can be there, this one, you will be like Jesus. So what the devil is doing, he brings persecution so that when this one is becoming small, this one here who brought this one will be like a liar. It's as good as he is not there. You know, he's the one who brings this one here. And he has to be like this. How many of you are hearing what I'm trying to say? So now, what the devil is fighting. He doesn't want you to have the Holy Spirit. Because who does, he who does not have the Holy Spirit is not from God. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are not from God. So what the devil is doing, this is the love of God. This one is the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit has been shared where? In our hearts. The love of God has been shared where? In our hearts. I want to say that. The love of God has been shared where? In our hearts. By what? By the Holy Spirit. So it's as good as you say I'm preaching but I'm not speaking the Bible. I become a liar. So now, what the devil is doing is saying, what Jesus, when he said, I won't leave you often. I will send you another one. Another one. And this one won't do his things. He will take the things of the Father. He will take the things of the Father and bring them to you by God. He will reveal everything. Can you see why we don't have revelation? Love, love, love. love. When you see enemies today, just rejoice and pray for them. God will give you revelations. God bless you.